I want to introduce a great panel back here. The accumulated, uh, I, I, was, I was adding it up earlier today. No, don't do that. <laughs> way over. <laughs> There's way over 100 years of experience back here, and that's just Norm. <laughs> the days are gone when you as a filmmaker uh, could make a movie and then let it out into the world and hopefully people come to you totally doesn't exist anymore. Right. So you're competing for eyeballs, you're, you're competing for attention span. A lot of editors kind of don't want to come out from behind their machines. I mean, that is just useless nowadays. The amount of interaction that we have to have to continually sell ourselves. And the fact that you're here tonight already separates you from people who are too chicken shit to come out, right? <laughs> the ability to sell yourself is part of a business. They, they don't teach you that in school, though. If you oh, they film, do. Do they? they? Do. do they my, teach you at USC? In my class, we do. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, because if you else. don't do it, <laughs> then you come out as like an awesomely, incredibly talented, unemployed editor. So, Actually, uh, you're with young people uh -huh. all the time. What advice do you give them? What do you encourage them to I, do? I, I think that most of our paths are not valid at all now. There's so much out there that has nothing to do with the studio system. I mean, the networks, business models, studios, they're dead, they just don't know it yet. My main job right now is I run the editing department at the USC Film School, uh, and... <laughs> we, had, we, we had planned a whole <laughs> fight later on today, but... I just love them too much now to do that. I tell my students that they need to know the three A's, right? Avid, Apple, Adobe, and Black Magic. Um, uh, and what I mean by that is you got to know as much as you can know. We're being asked to do far more things in the editing room than 100 years ago, thank you, Terry, when I, <laughs> when I started. I've been editing since 1968. Same film, right? <laughs> One guy said to me, I just want to do this, save my money, and retire when I'm 50. And right, how's that working out for him? <laughs> In terms of the mentorship that you do editor to assistant, some of it is just, okay, what'd you do wrong? Let's sit down and talk about it. By the way, I'm really pissed. <laughs> but it's okay, let's figure that out. On, uh, and um, use it as a learning experience, because otherwise, how will people learn? That's, that's my feeling on it. If I go into a job saying, what can I learn from this job? Then I usually am able to value what I'm doing. I'm able to value the experience. Always, unless I'm working with assholes. <laughs> right. If you're the kind of editor who fights people on things and holds on to things, then your actual new category, your new job title is X editor. If I am a known face mm -hmm. in prep, right? I'm there usually for the big production meeting beforehand, but um, uh, then when something does come up during shooting, I'm not the faceless asshole in the editing room calling about it. So you're the asshole with a face then? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Which actually I much prefer. Right? I want to thank all of you here tonight because it's a Friday night, which means you could be doing lots of other things. So thank you for coming and sharing this with us. Editors don't talk to each other enough.